Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. So today I'm continuing the Silhouette Studio series for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you how to weld objects as well as fonts. You guys can head over to my uh, playlist where, where you'll find several other videos which will feature some tips and tricks on using the Silhouette Studio program. Like I said, today we're going to be using the weld feature in here and so what a weld is, is it actually will attach your files together so here's an example of using images uh, that you want to weld together into one piece so we have two hearts here and as you can see these red outlines here that's what your uh, machine will actually cut out of your material so say you have two hearts and you would want them sometimes you want to add um, or create one file and overlap them. So right now, as it stands, your machine will actually cut these lines here in the middle. And let's say that you want one piece that is just connected hearts. What you would do is, I like to click and drag to select the item. So you select the hearts or your two items or your multiple items that you want welded together. So once your items are selected, you just right click on your mouse and I come down here to the weld button, click that and as you can see, those lines there that were in the middle are now gone. So now you have one image instead of two separate ones. So that is how to do images. And then let's talk about fonts. So right now I have like a block font and as you can see, each one is an individual letter. So if you have a block font, then you don't need to weld because each individual letter will cut separately. However, if you have a script font, so let's pick, let's say Magnolia Sky here. Uh, and let me zoom in as well so you can see right here where your scripts come together and where they overlap your machine will also cut that and you definitely don't want these whenever you are cutting. Not only will it take your machine much, much longer to cut these files like this, uh, you'll also see little bitty cut marks that uh, will show up in your vinyl and it's just not as pretty as if it were what, what it's supposed to be, which is just one continuous flowing script font. So what you do is, again, you just select your file, right click, click the weld button, and as you can see, it takes those intersecting lines out and creates one continuous flowing font for you. And that's all there is to welding your items together. It's definitely a feature that I use very, very frequently in this program. It's a huge help and it creates really nice files for you. So make sure you check out my playlist full of more Silhouette Studio tutorials for you. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I can continue to bring you this series. Hit the subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then like I said, I have been throwing these Silhouette Quick Tips out for you on Tuesdays. Hit that bell so that you get notified whenever my videos do go live. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys.